Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV. And today we're unboxing Apple's new iPhone 13 Pro in the new Sierra blue color. Let's get started. So this is it. Right here we have Apple's latest flagship, the Sierra Blue iPhone 13 Pro. And once again, we are greeted with a very thin box, meaning we're probably not going to get too many accessories inside. But uh, as usual, let's just walk around the box here on the back. You can see that this model is the 13 Pro Sierra Blue 128 gigabyte model. That's the lowest and cheapest model you can get. So if you're looking to get into the Pro models of iPhones, that's the one. Comparing it to the iPhone 12 Pro box, pretty much the same size, uh, just a different design on the front. Obviously this year with the 13 Pros, Apple is pushing the camera. And there it is, oh wow. Wow, that's big, that camera. Look at that. I'll give you some close-ups of the color in just a little bit. We'll put this aside right now. You're gonna get, once again, as usual, a USB-C to lightning cable. You're going to get some paperwork and information, so your SIM ejection tool, I guess, uh, warranty and information, as well as one white Apple sticker. They've really slimmed down on their packaging. I remember with the iPhone 11, you could pick up an iPhone and get AirPods or EarPods inside and you would get your charging brick as well. So you're gonna have to purchase this separately if you're planning on purchasing one of these new iPhone 13 Pros. Now, if you are looking, I also have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. This is actually gold, but uh, I'll be unboxing that as well. So check the link in the description for that. Let's peel back the plastic here. Now at first glance, you're probably thinking the iPhone 13 Pro looks just like the iPhone 12 Pro. Now it does in many instances, however, it does have some big changes, mainly that camera bump on the back, but there are some subtle changes as well. So first off, the phone itself is actually 20 grams heavier than the iPhone 12 Pro, and you will feel that difference holding them side by side. That camera bump is much bigger and that's gonna attribute to that weight, but there's also a larger battery in the iPhone 13 Pro models. Now taking a quick look around the iPhone 13, you're gonna notice that same stainless steel edging. You'll have your two antennas on the right side and then your side button as well to power the phone on and off. On the left side, we have our mute or silent switch once again. You have your two volume rockers and you have your SIM tray. Now there is a change on this side. I haven't seen anybody mention it really, but you can see if we compare it to the iPhone 12 Pro, the positioning of the buttons has changed as well. The SIM tray now is a little bit uh, more towards the middle on the 13 Pro. The bottom of the phone, you still have your lightning to USB-C port here, and then you have a vent and your speaker. Lastly, up top, we have a simple antenna port, and I'm still missing the headphone jack. If any of you are missing it, let me know in the comments. I feel like I'm the only one left but uh, it definitely was useful. Moving to the front side of the phone, there's been some changes as well. Mainly at the top here, you can see that the notch has gotten substantially smaller on the iPhone 13 Pro compared to the iPhone 12 Pro. It's actually 20% smaller when you look at them side by side, and actually the speaker that's located in the middle of the notch on the 12 Pro is now right up against the top of the metal on the 13 Pro model. Lastly, within the notch, you can see we have our 12 megapixel true depth camera, and that's going to be equipped with face ID and all of that good stuff built right in. But let's move to the backside of the phone where the camera steals the show both in size and performance. This time around, Apple's gone with a much larger camera. You can see the footprint is actually more than 50% of the back of the phone from side to side. You've got larger lenses as well. That means you're gonna get larger and better sensors inside. It's gonna be better photos, better videos, and giving you the ability to take advantage of those photos better with the software built in. You do have your flash up top. You also have your LiDAR scanner here. And if you don't know what that is, it's great for augmented reality. It's gonna help with your night mode shots and portrait mode shots in various modes. Now the three cameras are still the wide, the ultra wide and the telephoto lens, but the ultra wide now can shoot macro shots. And if you don't know what macro is, it's basically getting a close up shot. The wide angle camera now will allow you to get up to two centimeters from a subject 
perfect and give you all that detail within that photo. So if you ever see those close-up shots, that's a macro, and that's now available with the iPhone 13 Pros. On the back of the phone, you can see the color, which is the new Sierra Blue Apple released this year. It's a much lighter color than the blue from last year. You can see the comparison side by side. Last year, Apple introduced the Pacific Blue, which had a very dark blue color. And just like most of Apple's phones, depending on how the light hits the color, will depend on how blue it actually looks. Sometimes it looks almost purpley. I believe you can see kind of some purple there maybe, but then in the light, you can see how it really grabs that blue and then almost has a gray look when there isn't too much light focusing on it. Now we'll just quickly set up the iPhone 13 Pro here and take a closer look at the screen, which has been upgraded with a 120 Hertz refresh rate. So there it is, Apple's new 6.1 inch ProMotion display with a 120 Hertz refresh rate. And it's actually something they call adaptive. What that means is that the iPhone's actually going to dynamically adjust the refresh rate between 10 Hertz and 120 Hertz to reflect your on-screen activity. Now, comparing that to the iPhone 12 and the standard iPhone 13 model, you're going to be set at 60 Hertz and it's not going to change the refresh rate. As for battery life, something very important, the iPhone 13 Pro models have been upgraded with an 11% larger battery. This means you're going to get about an hour and a half more battery than you would have gotten on an iPhone 12 Pro. Now in terms of durability, I mean the phone is made of mainly glass and stainless steel, so dropping it without a case is definitely gonna cause some damage. However, it is IP68 water resistant. That means that it can withstand dust and dirt. It can also be submerged under water up to 1.5 meters for about 30 minutes. With that being said, Keep in mind that Apple doesn't warranty phones that have water or dust damage to them, so I wouldn't be throwing this in any lakes or testing it out in a swimming pool anytime soon. As for accessories, obviously charging through the lightning port, you can use a fast charging brick here as well to speed up the charging speeds. You'll have to purchase that separately. MagSafe accessories work just the same as the iPhone 13 Pro is MagSafe compatible. Just connects up with a little magnet on the back and works like so. If you do need to purchase cases, I would strongly recommend that you don't purchase the clear case from Apple. This is mine a year later. This actually cracked right there, just taking the phone off. It's kind of a hard plastic and it really gets dingy in the corners, especially over time. And then it starts to take away from the look of the phone. Now, if you carry around the AirPods Max here, this is the blue AirPods Max with the blue, so you can kind of see how it'll sort of fit the way you're dressed or how you look. We'll just pull them out here so you can see the blue comparison to those as well. And it's much closer to this blue than it is to that Saturn blue. So it is a good look if you do decide to purchase this iPhone in the blue, Sierra blue color, and then also purchase the AirPods Max. It really fits nice together just in terms of, I guess, your look for the day. Lastly, if you're asking, should you buy the iPhone 13 Pro, I strongly recommend that you weigh your options. I believe that Apple is going to bring out something really big next year. Samsung's coming out with the folded phones already, and they're some of the coolest phones I've ever seen. And I just feel like Apple's gonna follow suit next year. So if you can hold off on the iPhone 13 Pro, I would. If you have an older phone, like an iPhone 6 that just can't update anymore, or your phone is just too slow, then yeah, it's a great upgrade, but there are cheaper options like the iPhone 13, iPhone 12 Pro. And if it wasn't for me making videos like this, if I had a phone like the iPhone 11 Pro, I would not be upgrading right now. Anyway, that is the unboxing of the iPhone 13 Pro in the Sierra blue color. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. What do you think of the color? Are you purchasing one? And if you are, let me know what color you chose. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. There's a full playlist of iPhone 13 videos coming out with tips, tricks, and tutorials. So definitely subscribe to the channel. Click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. And as always, I will see you in the next one.